understood where we were, what was missing, uh, and we fixed it. And we invested in it. And we stepped up. We now have uh, better practices, better resources, better visibility to students, and, and we are going to continue to focus on this. This is something all else that we have to focus on relative to diversity and inclusion. We haven't done enough, and we're going to do more. Uh, I thought it'd be appropriate um, for the leader of MU to talk about what we're doing on the MU campus uh, to address many of the concerns that uh, Jonathan has in his letter. So let me turn it over to Bob. Actually, before comment. we do that, that's not why we came here. I'm not here to, I don't care what you're doing. I want you removed. That's why we're here because we're standing in solidarity with Jonathan Butler. So I'm not here for a press conference. I don't want to talk to anybody. I want you resigned. I need for you to leave. That's not why we're here. We delivered the statement. I think that's all that we need to discuss. At this point, I don't care what you're doing because you're not doing anything. You haven't made a statement about anything that happened with Concerned Student 1950. On um, 10, 10, 15, you have not made a statement about what happened just a couple days ago at Gateway Hall. So you don't care about racism. Racism doesn't matter to you. You don't understand systems of oppression. So we're not here to discuss anything. I think we've said what we need to say. So thank you. Have a good day. I, have, I also have something to say as well. Um, so well, you said that you wanted to have dialogue and conversation. But well, would you know what students could want? Concerned student you explicitly stated you had no intention. Exactly. You would not have had a conversation had it not been up had it not been for the students contacting you. The students who your car hit, Tim Wolf, you were in the car that hit Jonathan Butler and you didn't do anything. You didn't reach out, you didn't say anything. Now that stands on the public strike and you want to have conversations. You look us in our eye and told that you want to have conversations with us. You want to talk to everybody else. I have a problem with that. My most my friend, Tim Wolf was explaining to Tim Wolf. our steps from 1969 that we get no credit for, that we came up with, that he's speaking about. The LBC created those things, put those in place, but yet white men, because of their white male patriarchy, want to say that they created those things. Can I comment? No, we don't want your comments. I'm done talking to you. You can go back to your office and bullshit. Continue to do that. I don't care. Well, I respect uh, what you said, but I do care. My actions, my actions will. Uh, yeah. My actions will uh, support my words. They haven't so, so far. Yeah, he doesn't care. Yeah, you didn't show action when we were in front of your car. You were whispering to your wife. You were smiling. You were laughing. You had your hands in our lap. You didn't. You looked us in the eye and then looked away. I have that personal memory in my head, and it's going to stay there for a long time. And the memory that says that he cares about his black students, but he doesn't understand systems of oppression. Um, and he has all of these resources. He all is not only a white man with privilege, um, but he also has educational.
privilege and he's still not utilizing his resources to get educated on what systems of oppression that these students in marginalized communities face every day on this campus. Instead, he would like to bring it to Chancellor Lofton. And Lofton is not the problem. You are over an entire, institu entire institution, it's not even just MU. MU is the largest institution, but you are over several institutions and you do not care about racism or systems of oppression or marginalized communities. Of students, you don't care. This is what happens when you put a businessman or an educator. Exactly. Yeah. Because we're taking time out of our education. I have class right now. Yeah, and we're meeting with you. All we're meeting you because right because, you, because you are more important than our education. So thank you, Tim Wolf. We appreciate it. Well, I appreciate your comments, and uh, as I said, I care, and uh, I will show you how I care by the actions that I and the rest of the leadership team take on each of the four campuses. What actions? Stop What's saying that with actions. actions. Yeah, what, what are these plans? What, you mean? what are these well, actions? That is very vague. You know, actions, they sound good. They're, they're just Since words. I got here in 2011, I've heard actions. I've heard everything since you got here in 2012. I've heard, we are doing this, we're going to do this, we're going to do this. And I still feel the same pain that I felt when I walked on this campus for the first time. And there's no reason sure. that I should do it. So if you see, if you're saying actions, Actions come from being proactive. You don't wait for something like this to happen right. to say, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to talk with the students. You even told us in the meeting that you did not have any intentions on talking with us and we, we were in pain. Were meet with you us. were never going to meet with us had we not called that meeting. So the leadership on each of the campuses have the relationship with each of the student groups and they were having conversations and Bowen had made an announcement on the investments, which are actions that are taken to try to resolve some of these issues that you brought to the attention of the MU leadership. That sounds good, but where are you? Because Lofton, I can vouch for him. He's been meeting with us, he cares, but like, where are you? Okay. To be honest, and you're I, here right now, but like, before because, all of this happened. Because happen, strike, that's why he's here. Yeah, and that's why Matt No, 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 I, I have to disagree with that because we had the meeting with concerned students 19. After because we, we got to do you, you didn't even want to reach out because to us. You never would have reached out to us. And you, you said that <laughs> we haven't recorded. We yeah. haven't recorded. You we never would have reached out to us. So how do you say so that you care you if you were never going to talk to us? If you were never going to meet all of these students and all these people, where are they at? Because I was working with the people that can affect the change, which is the You can. The MU campus. You have that leadership. They are the people, right. President Wolf, that can affect the change. Not all your administrators. And you. And obviously, so. we're the only ones doing the job, and we don't get paid. We don't get paid <laughs> don't. at all. Um, I don't even have my degree yet. And I'm <laughs> um, you have a PhD. Uh, you went to Harvard. Like you have all this educational privilege. So I just really don't understand how you're not getting it. Like how do you have so much education and you don't understand systems? I want you to understand that that's not an excuse for lack of action. Not understanding systems of oppression is not an excuse for you not acting the way you should because you should know that. Especially As a man you in your an position over students who are marginalized, you should understand systems of oppression so that you can take care of us. But the question. The qu He don't care because he also said, Jonathan, I hope that Jonathan takes other measures. Like, this is a joke. Like, somebody just woke up one day and decided to go. Like, we haven't been talking for years. Yeah. Like, I'm okay. tired of the dialogue. I'm, we're here for action, and that's why we're camping out. Action. That's why he's on a hunger strike. Like, and right now, that action, I'm sorry, I'm actually not sorry, is either your resignation or us getting you fired at this point because you have been so negligent. Uh, we are the students. In a sense, we are paying your bills aside from just taxpayers. Um, and you can think, you can genuinely believe that you're trying to help, but your actions show otherwise. Plain and simple. And if you are going to say that these actions that you all put in place, you need to acknowledge where those actions actually came from. And those actions were that you were discussing were a part of the Legion of Black Collegians demands from 1969. So the next time you white men with privilege want to send out an email stating what, what you're, you're doing, doing, you need to acknowledge where those came from because I would appreciate that. Okay. Exactly. Thank you very much for coming. We appreciate it. President of the meeting, thank you very much. You listen. Thank you. Thank you. No, I actually want to know what you're going to do with the class What are you going to do? I, I would, personally. I would like to talk to Jonathan. 
President and Robert say what? Yeah. We would suggest what? that you, if you're serious about addressing this, that you schedule a meeting for the curators to talk to Jonathan. And okay. I think that that would be a good signal that the university system is taking okay. this seriously. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Okay. That's a good first step. Okay. I agree. Because that's, that's I, don't, I don't believe that he doesn't. I actually okay. know he doesn't. Yeah. Right. We know he doesn't. That's fair. And the Board of Curators would love to talk to Jonathan just as I would. So, so that's another conversation. Yeah. All right. So yeah. set it okay. up. Set yeah. the meeting up. You said President Wolf. Let us know. Yes, sir. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Bye. you for your time. Oops. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Thanks. Thank you. I'm convinced. I'm texting on their phones while they're doing, you know, giving the right answer instead of having heads and minds changed. Because, I mean, I already know how I feel about it, so when I do the training, I'm like, I totally agree with all of these things, I totally get it, but somebody who maybe doesn't is just going to, it doesn't matter. This is the answer you want to hear. Yeah, and so they'll do it so that they get through it, but ultimately just have a program. Maybe, like, it's 1%. So it's like less than 1%. Well, how many people pass the sexual harassment training and then go on to sexual harassment? I suspect people with Departments that are trouble for that and pass the training. Right. And the statement for that. And then I got a few things here. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. That's Were you the one that said that he should know about what's going on and that he should? Let's see what else I got. Sorry. Things were a little scattered. Um, I mean, if all else fails um, and you don't know who said what, you can always just put concerns to call 950. And then also use our names. We give you um, the permission to do that. Um, just so you don't have to worry about I mean, like, these are all good. Um, I definitely get why you need like, our individual names. But, um, Okay. You can I'm okay. 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 Um, you said that you don't think he cares, um, you don't think he understands the problem, and it's up to him, um, not really his administration, to talk to you guys, he needs to reach out to you guys, instead of you guys reaching out to him. Um, let's see, you think he doesn't care about racism? Um, let's see, um, I don't think he doing the work. Yeah, I think he has a joke in the Before I have this meeting with him. Yeah, okay. And then, um, he was even smiling while we were talking to him. I don't know if you all were. Yeah. I was wondering who was the person who said you looked up in the eyes and then looked away? I have that memory in my head. Was that you? Okay. Did you get her phone number and name? Or can I get your name and phone number? Shelby S H E L B E Y D A R N E A L D A R N E A L D A R N E A L D A R N E A L D A R N E A L D A R N E A L D A R N E A L D A R N E A L D A R N E A L D A R N E A L D A R N E A L D A R N E A L D A R N E A L D A R N E A L D A R N E A L D A R N E A L D A R N E A L D A R N E A L D A R N E A L D A R N E A L D A R N E A L D A R N E A L D A R N E A L D A R N E A L D A R N E A L D A R N E A L D A R N E A L D A R N E A L D A R N E A L D A R N E A L D A R N E A L D A R N E A L D A R N E a lot of students are still continuing to be pressured to not report. No, she called me. I don't know if anyone is still hearing that, but I am still hearing that very often. And still being discouraged in the department. Maybe. I mean, I've been at a ton of rallies recently. There's so many different Right. Who knows? A lot. It's hard to say. I'm teaching a lot of students. So I have to say that. Yeah, yeah. You set up a perfect thing. Thank you for the call. We'll we'll we do appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 If you have yeah. other future attendants, yeah. 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 I, yeah. I, 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 I feel like you're
trying to say more, like uh, agricultural stuff. I was, like, when you called me, I was like walking down the steps to this class, and I'm like, oh, I ran to the campsite, they were already gone. And there are other members of that group, but um, I'm in. I'm here in support and solidarity of them. But uh, that is the flagship university system, and he's been silent. Chancellor Lofty is an outgoing person. No, I'm not more of a graduate vice president. He wants to have dialogue. That he's personally concerned about racism at the University of Missouri campus. Tim Wolf, on the other hand, is delivering hand statements through representatives or, you know, and, hand, and having his, you know, PR handler take him away from meetings when he, when he gets out of control of what the narrative is. So that's not an indication of genuine engagement. That's an indication of crisis management. And it really makes me think that um, there is a problem with the leadership of the University of Missouri system, and he doesn't seem to realize that. I just want to make sure I have that correct. So you said um, that um, that the administrative structure has given an effort. I'm B. Yeah, thank you so much yeah, for all your words and your actions. <laughs> thank you. No, no, no. This is exactly what we needed. You know? Yeah, yeah. We don't want it. Yeah. Right. You're the one. We don't want to take it away. He's trying to be mine. Yeah, yeah, right. 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 But and he wouldn't be doing that to a male like just kind of mind. Mind. You know, I'm his daughter. Okay. Or, you know, and there's really no okay. Okay. I don't know. I just I think as someone who works for me, um, sounds good. Can you send me that uh, report? Yeah, yeah. Of the whole thing, I, I had like a very short report. There are conversations we keep trying to have with the Title IX office and with the diversity office, and clearly we're not always going to be highest on their priorities. But I feel like we could be very instrumental in putting students in real life situations where we establish this is a moment of a real life conflict that happened right now we're going to give you a chance to stop the scene and step into it and rehearse for real life how would you respond if you were in this situation? like a more rather than a dis so distant they computer it. they don't get to distance themselves. whatever they have to be in it yeah. in absolutely yes and also suzanne burgoyne have you talked to ellen ridley um, face to face about She's a very busy woman. Yeah. We understand that. I still like time for you. Um, be persistent or come to me about that. I'll make it happen. But I think she, I talked about her about this particular avenue for mm -hmm. uh, scalability is sort of somewhat challenging, sure, obviously. But having, having been in front of yeah. one of those events and seeing how it worked, uh, yeah. that's, 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 that's what I felt. That's what I felt. I think like, a multi pronged okay, approach is appropriate. And I'm relying <laughs> on one way. Yeah, I know. I'm the one who's yeah. 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 because not everyone knows the same way. Yeah. I, got I, 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 I think they could fit in well with the new diversity initiative. The required course requirements. I'm actually really glad. Yeah. We've already resolved. We're going to have, we'll sort of do a face to face training. Uh, in January, remember, it's so, so close in time, there's no way to do this in any kind of technology driven way. Right? And maybe we shouldn't. When I met with the students back there, they were not pleased about a technology approach for the reasons you saw a moment ago. It's too easy to sit there and somehow paint through this. Maybe like I'm using Sabi to my students. Uh, so we're, we're the ironic how reversal we do this, of what it usually is. One time in January for this I come up and we're making all my students travel like that. <laughs> 7,000 people. Uh, uh, what's that? Yeah, I think it's worth, worth yeah, uh, how we can make it. Sorry, uh, uh, what part are you yeah, at the very least, 
So like, oh, yes, uh, yeah, absolutely. Performance. That would uh, um, provide to be part of it, as you suggested, would be so like on a large so that, uh, scale. Like, I was impacted by just being again, the, the most important thing to me is that uh, my friends uh, uh, it makes you think, think about something that would be What I want more than anything is to be able to live a long and happy and very different kind of people than they really were. And so anything that they spoke to that brings his hunger strike on them personally because they weren't sooner uh, uh, is some. what I am in favor of. Uh, that is a powerful way for them hopefully, to get uh, Hopefully, based on this, based on what we, did, what we did here today, um, Jamie, is, Jamie is going to get to meet with the curators and hopefully working with the curators some kind of resolution. Yeah, I mean, that could apply to, I think that could apply to Title IX stuff, that could apply to sexism, racism, anything on campus that we want to apply to, any type of performance about this. Yeah, or one that would be so big it'd be easier. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm thinking maybe it's a requirement Maybe they're staggered. Maybe there's one, one a month or one or whatever, and then staggering that, you know, could be an option for some people to attend something yes. like that. I mean, we can clearly modify the form yeah. Yeah. for larger. I think the idea crowds. is great. I think, yeah. I think yeah. the response training for since you've been to one. The response training for mental health, we had a big group, and you just get into small groups and do right. kind of role playing. Uh, yeah. If you can't do interactive theater, really you might be able to do what they do with the response yeah. training. That was very effective yeah. for me. Yeah. Learning how to deal with the grad students to find a program themselves. They know how to do it. You know how to do it. You don't yeah. need a whole team behind yeah. it. It's easier, but obviously you can do it on your own. Like, okay, I mean, the way to replicate it is to like, bring people together in a place where we can actually have enough TBC space to be able to do that. Uh, I'm not sure what the optimal number is. You guys don't know understand. I don't want to kill it until you give me my money. It would be the right size, not too small, not too large to make it effective. Uh, I'm happy to have that conversation. Tell them the ideal person to talk to about it. So kind of so please, uh, come if you need to. I'm really happy to make sure she puts you on the list. <laughs> she is busy, but I need to support. I'm talking about like, uh, we're all social distancing. <laughs> Especially this time. He's on a talk to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's that was so fantastic. I heard about that, and I, so yeah. I got to sign up for free as a graduate student. But I think if it was mandatory, I, th I mean, right. I learned so okay. much for it. I did it just to help myself. But I think if we all did it, and you could stagger it, right. that was a large group. Yeah, yeah. They were getting it with small groups yeah. at a table. We're going to have to have facilitators. You know, yeah. we'll have to have facilitators that know what they're doing. Yeah, exactly. Then. Which. Yeah. But it can be done. Department can do. It can be done. Literally, my career. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Psychodramatist. Yes. It can be done with 200 people. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. I think that would be a, that would be a really good step. That's what no. yeah. is sort of Thanks for the, we're on the same yeah. for that. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so when they say these things, it's and not like we're just going to believe them. Like, oh, that will yes. work. Yes. <laughs> I researched this too. So what's the problem? Yeah. I'm right. When they're mad. Yeah. It's a. Oh, it's like a carnival here. Yeah, such a busy member. Yeah. Oh yes. But I know very very well. So yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah. It's about protecting ourselves. And then, I don't know. Not making any admissions. Yeah. It's very frustrating. Yeah. Feel like we're all the same. Yeah. <laughs> Which is good. I mean, wow. it helps us, you know. Know that you're not alone. In yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 You won't need lanterns. It's pretty light out there, right? Yeah. You need. You need. Yeah. Bags. Yeah. Yeah. Right, we're just yeah. students. Oh, so cool. Yeah, I like it. I know. Um, well, you know, where, you know where our office is on the second floor. Yeah. Why don't you, whatever needs, bring it to me, right. and I can right. pick them out. Um, yeah. Like I said, I can send a message yeah. to the right. exactly. Diversity yeah. Alliance, which okay. is huge. Like That's what I think. One of the best okay. um, points um, you know, made was that this is why I don't know what is this man. He's got to be at the head of your school. Yeah, that's one of the best points. Thank you so much for your support. It means a lot.
I'm sorry, Pre- I'm sorry. <laughs> President Wolf has yellow fever. We're gonna tell this, um, you know, we should. Uh, we should. Uh, just Interview is over. He's highly contagious. approach to diversity and Title IX training is appropriate. Um, I don't think online only is sufficient or effective. I think a face-to-face approach allows for more of an empathetic connection and allows for greater understanding and real dialogue between people. And I just want to make sure I have that right for an accuracy check. So you think we should have a multi-pronged approach. You shouldn't just do online only. Um, Face-to-face allows people to be more empathetic. Mm -hmm. And 